Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rachel Colton and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a macrame rainbow wall hanging. Let's go over the supplies that you will need. The first thing you're going to need is your filler rope. I prefer to use a twisted cotton rope. This is half an inch diameter and it's from rightrope.com. I will include a code in the description for you to get 5% off your order at their website. The next thing you'll need is your string in the colors for your rainbow. I'm going to be using three millimeter string in the color red wine and four millimeter string in the color fern. These are also from rightrope.com. And I have some four millimeter string in natural. This is from knotandrope.com. The next thing you're going to need is either a hot glue gun or some fabric glue. I'm going to use a Shore Bonder hot glue gun with a fine tip and it uses mini glue sticks. I'm going to show you a technique for using a tapestry needle to finish each arc once we've wrapped it, but you don't have to use this. You can just use glue to secure the ends. When we're finished, if you want to comb out your fringe, you can either use a pet comb or you can use a pet brush. You're going to want a very sharp pair of scissors to cut your rope and trim the fringe at the end. You also need some painter's tape to tape off the ends so that they don't fray too much while we're working. And then some optional supplies, if you would like, is some crocheted ribbon to add trim at the bottom. You can use some pom-poms or poof balls if you want to add this decorative element around the edge. And if you know this is going to be a wall hanging and you want to hide some of the imperfections on the back, you can use a piece of felt and you're going to need a marker to trace the shape of your rainbow. Those are all our supplies, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to lay out your filler rope and decide how large you want your rainbow to be. I'm going to be starting with 18 inches for my first piece. And as soon as I cut my first piece of rope, I want to add painter's tape to either end so that they don't fray. So just take about an inch and a half to two inches of tape and wrap it around the end. The next thing you want to do is lay your first piece out in the shape that you would like, and then you need to measure out your next piece. So you want to lay it inside and hold it as close to that first piece as possible and then trim at the end and tape both pieces again. My second piece came out to about 16 and a half inches. And for this rainbow, I'm going to be making three arcs. So I need to do that one more time. Once you have all of your arcs trimmed and taped, we are ready to start wrapping. I'm going to start with my outer arc first, and I'm going to be using the three millimeter red wine color. So to get started, what I like to do is I like to secure my rope with just a little bit of hot glue so that it doesn't move around while I'm getting started. And you want to leave about two inches at the end for your fringe. So I'm just going to add a tiny little line of hot glue and then I'm going to take the end of my rope and I'm going to point it toward the part that will be wrapped away from the fringe. And then what you want to do when you're wrapping is hold on to this with one hand and then your other hand, your thumb and your forefinger are going to help maintain the twist of your string so that it doesn't lose its shape. So you're just going to hold on to the end. Take the long part and just start wrapping it around. And you're twisting the string to keep it holding its shape. And you're just gonna keep wrapping all the way to the other end, leaving two inches at the other end for the fringe. So once you get to the other end and you left a couple inches for the fringe, you have a couple options for securing this piece of rope. You can either just add a little dab of hot glue here, hold your rope onto it till it dries, and then trim it, and you'll have a little bit of fray showing. Or you can use a tapestry needle to take this end and pull it through a couple of these wrappings and hide it underneath. 
So I'm going to show you how to do that with this one. So I'm just going to cut maybe four or five inches of extra string at the end. I'm going to fold the string over so that there's this little loop on the end, just so I can push that through my tapestry needle. And then once you have that on your tapestry needle, you're just going to carefully go under about three of these loops. You could even do four, it's up to you. And then you're just gonna pull that loose end up through and pull it tight. And then you can just trim off this excess and you'll have this little bit of fringe that you can tuck under, once again, using your tapestry needle. Once you have your first arc done, you're going to do the same thing using your next color. So take the next smaller arc and you're going to again leave about two inches of space for the fringe. And then you're just going to grab your next color. And I like to add that little bit of hot glue to hold my string as I'm getting started. You don't have to have the hot glue here. You can just hold on to this with your thumb and start wrapping around. It's totally up to you. And then once you get to the other side, you just want to make sure that you have the same amount as your other color so that the ends will line up. And once you've wrapped your second color so that the ends line up on both sides, you just want to do the same thing again with that loose end. Just trim yourself a little bit of extra thread that through your tapestry needle by folding it in half and pushing it through the eye and then just go about three or four loops up underneath find your way between two of the loops and then pull your loose end through and pull tight to secure it and then you just have to trim that close to your arc and you can just gently tuck that fray in so that you don't see it. Okay, so now we have two of our arches done. We just need to do our final one in green and then I'll show you how to assemble the rainbow and how to add some of those optional elements. Now that all of our arches are complete, there's just one final thing I'm going to do because I know this is going to be a wall hanging. I need something to hang it from. So what I've done is just cut another piece of the red wine string to 18 inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of my wrap. So I have about 15 inches that is wrapped. So seven and a half would be the center. So what I'm going to do is take that 18 inch piece of string. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to find my center point, lay it on top of the red arch and then I'm going to take the loop at the halfway point and wrap it around and bring it up behind. Then I'm going to take these loose ends, put them through the loop and then pull that tight to form what's called a lark's head knot at the center point of this. Now if you want to, this is a good point to add a bead here if you want to thread a bead onto these. Otherwise, you just want to take the two loose ends, make a loop, bring the loose ends through the loop, and form a knot so that you have something to hang these from on the wall. And then you can trim the ends to whatever length that you would like. So now we're ready to assemble our pieces. And you have a couple different options here. I've actually heard of people sewing these. So you need a really thick, really long needle to get through here. I haven't tried that option yet, but I know that it is out there. Another option would be to have a piece of felt already cut out to the shape of your rainbow. And then you can just glue these onto the felt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue each arc together by running a really thin line of glue along the edge. So I'm just going to take my first two colors and I'm going to put a very thin line of glue along the red, just about an inch to an inch and a half long. 
to get started and I'm going to line up these ends and I'm going to push these together and hold them for a second while the glue dries. You could also use fabric glue at this point if you prefer, but you will have to use something to clamp these together while it dries. The hot glue is just a little bit quicker and dries instantly. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing with this inner green. I'm just going to work my way around using a little bit of hot glue, an inch or an inch and a half at a time. Once you have all of your arches secured together, what you want to do is trim these end pieces off so that they are even. And I'm going to have to go with this one that turned out to be the shortest for my distance. It's about two inches, which is what I wanted when I started. So I'm just going to line my scissors up with that one and cut straight across. And you definitely need some really sharp, strong scissors for this. And then on the other end, I've got this smaller one, which is also about two inches. So I'm just going to trim the other ones to the same length. So for the ones that still have some tape on them, you just want to remove that at this point. And you have a couple options with your fringe. You can leave it like this and just let it untwist a little bit naturally on its own. Or you could separate each of the three strings that are twisted around each other. And you can leave it like that and you can clean up the edge. Or if you prefer, you can take a comb or a pet brush and you just carefully brush this out and you can flip it over and do the back side as well. And at this point, you can see the ropes are all uneven. So if you want to come back with your scissors and clean up the end and make it a little, little straighter, you can do that as well. Once you have your fringe all brushed out and trimmed, there's a couple of optional details you can add, or of course you can leave it just like this. You can add some ribbon to the bottom. I like to use this crocheted ribbon that I got from Michaels. And to attach this, I like to start from the back. And I just take a little line of glue in the center portion of the ribbon where it doesn't have as many holes. And then I start from the middle and gently lay that along the bottom of the colors. And then flip your rainbow over and you wanna go across the front. And I find that you just wanna hold this really gently when you're bringing it across so that you're not pulling it and misshaping it. And then you want to flip it over again and just bring it across to meet the start of the other side and trim it off. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Another thing you can do with this if you know it's going to be a wall hanging and you want to hide some of the imperfections with the glue and the ribbon lining up is you can make a felt backing for this. So I'm just taking a piece of this off-white felt from Michaels and I would just lay my rainbow on top and then very carefully because you don't want to get any marker on your rainbow, just trace along the inside and the outside to get the general shape of your rainbow. And you actually, when you cut, you wanna cut inside of your lines so that none of this felt will stick out from the sides of your rainbow. And then for this part, I'm also going to cut within the shape. So you just wanna lay that on top and it looks like I should probably trim off a little bit more around the edge. And I might go back and trim just a little bit at the bottom as well to make sure that that doesn't end up peeking through the front. So once you have that to the shape that you want, you would just glue that down with a little bit of hot glue. 
And again, you might want to just do one segment at a time so that your glue doesn't dry before you can get to it. And then another fun thing for these rainbows is to add some of these poof balls or pom-poms around the edge. You can even add them onto the front if you want, these little tiny ones, especially since this looks like Christmas. So I'm gonna have some going around the edge of this one. So I just wanna lay them out about an inch apart and make sure that I like the placement before I start gluing them. And then once you have them laid out how you like, just add a little bit of glue and press it to the outside of the rainbow. And I actually think these little teeny tiny ones look cute on the green because they remind me of a Christmas tree with ornaments. So I'm going to add those as well. So here is our finished product. This is going to make an adorable Christmas decoration as a wall hanging, or you could even make a larger one and put it on your door as a wreath. And the possibilities with these rainbows are endless. I'm gonna show you some more ideas. This one is made from just some fall colors and I attached two cake topper sticks and then a piece of felt. This is going to be my daughter's cake topper for her second birthday. This was made using some two millimeter twisted rope and just some thinner fiber that I had. And I attached a hair clip to the back to make a little barrette for my daughter. And then this one was made using a thicker rope. I believe I used a three quarter inch. I might've even used an inch for this. And I wrapped this with blue, gray. This has a crisscrossed navy blue ribbon. This one is wrapped with strips of denim that I cut from an old pair of jeans. And I also left some of the ropes natural. And you can see what it looks like if you add a bead to the top as well. So again, the sizes, the colors, the material, all endless. So have fun with this and make some beautiful rainbows for yourself. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me any questions or comments that you might have. And again, I will give you a discount code to writerope.com. Thank you and have a great day.